The Sly Guy podcast is on Patreon, which means for as little as £2 a month, which is less than a cup of coffee nowadays, especially if you're getting those pumpkin spice lattes and stuff, which are like four quid. But by the way, weirdly delicious and tastes like potpourri, but I don't know what the addiction is. There must be drugs in it. Anyway... We have a Patreon, Sly Guy Podcast, the bonus content's over there. All you want to get yourself over there, early release access to the podcast. You get the extra Sly Guy Podcast, you get guest episodes, you get vlogs. There's a series of guest episodes coming up and they're going to be very good. There's going to be other bonus content too. If you subscribe, we can take the podcast better, bigger, higher. We get better production quality, we can get all the works and it can be all for as little as £2 a month. So head on over to www.patreon dot com forward slash slag eye podcast and for those who are already there thank you very much we appreciate it and i'll see you down the road the slag eye podcast is brought to you in association with modest beer we all know it by now modest beer is bloody ace <laughs> don't know why i turned into full australian eh i don't know if you know this bar now but modest beer is bloody brilliant it's fucking ice in it it's absolutely bloody, and then halfway through my impersonation, I sometimes find like I'm turning into a South African. Modest beer is bloody great, yeah? You'd be a proper dick to not want to drink modest beer, wouldn't you? So thanks very much to Modest Beer for sponsoring the podcast. And for them, for me to thank them, they now want to thank you, the listener of the Slag Out podcast, by giving you 15% off their product at their website, www.modestbeer.co.uk. And you can use the checkout there, whether it's merch or beer, you can get 15% off by using the code SLYPA15. That's S L Y P A 1 5 at checkout. Thank you, Modest Beer. Enjoy that 15% off, listener. I'm the Sly Guy. Hello again, and welcome to another episode of the Sly Guy podcast with me, your host, Dave Elliott. Today, was another fun episode. Someone we've had to actually get back in. Normally he comes in, he helps me out sometimes, and he's like the co-host almost if there was a co-host, but he jumps on whatever. We had an episode already to go this week, but we had to get the butt man in because we wanted to talk about doing the SSE Arena on Saturday past there for the Live Tea With Me podcast. Butler did stand up at it. I was one of the guests on the podcast itself, and what a fun night it was. What a... What an historic night it was. It was a fab thing to be part of. Very grateful today. Feeling very, very much um, overcome with gratitude about the whole scenario. It's one of those, one of those nights that you know you'll never forget as a as a performer being there, being involved. You're there with your friends. Just it was a it was just a fun time. So I thought you know what, let's get the Buttman in. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about Saturday night and and all that went into it. Did that pan out? No, because within a matter of minutes, we're talking about more scientific experiments on animals. We're talking about what animals we'd throw off the Obel Tower. I don't know why we're pitching this idea, but we're, we're talking about that. That's what we ended up talking about. We ended up talking about Stephen Nolan and McGabry. We ended up totally forgetting to mention how great Saturday was, but we talk about it a bit. It's in there for some, but it was another fun episode with Aaron Butler, who for the episode looked like he just escaped from the episode of Stephen Nolan and McGabry. But anyway... Guys, I hope you enjoy this episode of the Sly Guy Podcast with me, my guest, Aaron Butler. Oh, it's Thursday. It's a Sly Guy Podcast. It's, you know what? We had to fit you in here this week. We're going out live. What do you mean going out live? This Thursday. I've already episodes ready to go, but I was like, you know what? Nah. We had such a fun weekend together. You've you banked episodes, in. and so now I, I'm, I am bunking the queue, similar yeah. to how I did at Disney World when I was a young child and shouldn't have. When you were a young child or a recent adult, man? It's a good point. There is no old... Is there? No, there is old kids, isn't there? What's an old kid? 10, I mean, 11? well, no, an old kid would be probably 17, wouldn't it? Because you consider an adult to be... Mm. You know, I'm just putting an airplane mode there, speaking of kids. That's um, the way to do it. Professional as always. Yeah, yeah, I should have had it done before we started recording, but listen... Nah. We're Who on cares? the fly here. See, so you're bumping. Sly. You're bumping. You've got one of those wee passes. What nice. are what are we, the passes called in Disney? They're called well. They used to be called Fast Pass. Now they're called Genie Plus passes. Is that because a lot of disabled people aren't fast, <laughs> and they're the ones that get the passes? And oh, then you're yeah. like, I'm going to get to the queue fast, but then you're stuck behind a load of wheelers, like. Yeah, I mean that that's a good summary of it, I guess. Um, it's basically just a way to get to the front of the line quickly if you have money and privilege. Uh huh. So that's that's how Disney works, like the uh, the economy. And have you ever boshed somebody in a wheelchair? 
I've well, when you say bosh, does that mean like get in a scrap with? Don't just bump them out of the way. Oh, it's, that's good manners, I think, to do that. You know what the good thing about people with they're easy moved. The wheelchair people? Yeah, you can just they're on yeah. wheels. Yes. You know, it's just yeah, whoever invented it's like a wardrobe, it. you know what I mean? Like if a wardrobe's sitting static, mm. hard to move, but if Fair. a wardrobe's on a wee trolley, bye. Yeah. That's why you weren't the inventor of the wheelchair. No. You'd have presented them with just a seat. Yeah. <laughs> and no. went, yeah. Guys, you figure out how it moves. I, wh- I've got ninety percent of the work done. You'd be like, This is not a wheelchair, you've made this is a wheelbarrow. I'm like, I right, <laughs> get them in it. You're like, cool. look, if it, no one else has any better ideas, you know, I've exactly. I've done the best like, so far. I enjoy that 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 video that's going around. Um of you know the the guy who invented stairs, it's like the stairs were invented in seventeen twenty. Haven't seen that. And it's like oh, and then it goes in seventeen nineteen. Or people in seventeen nineteen, and it's just Shane McMahon falling off the <laughs> cell. So <laughs> I enjoy that. Enjoy that. It made me laugh a lot. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. So speaking of, I'm I'm planning a wee trip to Disney soon. Are you really? Yeah. Going to Paris. Gay Paris, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. When when's that happening? Well, the girls are going to get it from Santa Claus, I hope, all being well if they behave. That's lovely. Um, so, That's yeah, lovely. we're going February time, all being well. That's the way you know. to do it. February's yeah. a good time to go as well. Because we're in that thing, too. Like, we would like to maybe go to Florida whenever Holly's at an eight. Maybe, like, older. going to P1 or, or P... Fucking first form, who cares? First form. But then she's at the age now where she she would really feel the magic and Matilda would like it too but yeah it'd be a bollocks to go to Florida with now so I think yeah Paris is a little bit easier still yeah. costly I'll tell you that much but listen you know what but we're doing well in life boys are doing alright boys you are know. doing okay we're www.patreon.com forward slash slag eye podcast there you go keep <laughs> yeah. fund Dave's Disney World trip but you know what this is the, this is the beauty about me like a lot of people mm. like you see some comedians nowadays I've noticed it's a big thing a few of the Liverpoolian guys have done well for themselves They've gone, got their teeth all done. They're all looking like the teeth all done thing seems yeah. to be a, a real trend. With the, any yeah. comedian that does well, yeah, teeth watch, get watch done. them a year later and they've got new. And then teeth. the next will be hair and stuff. But what do I yeah. spend my, and my kids? Do yeah. you know what I mean? I look like this. I'm like Trump. Yeah. They're probably looking going, yeah, I did pierce my ear, be like George Michael, but don't yeah. worry about it. Yeah, you're reinvesting mm. in uh, your family, and that's a beautiful thing. But you know what? I I, I think because I'm a simple guy mm. in many ways. Mm. Many ways, I like the simple pleasures in life. You do, you like just you know? straightforward, not having to think too much about something. Certain no, things. and but as long as my kids are happy, I'm happy, mate. You know, I, as long as your kids are happy, I'm happy as well. Yeah. The uh, you um, if, if you come into like a big chunk of money, would you ever get the teeth done? No, I, I, you know what, I wouldn't get done. I wouldn't get my teeth or my hair done. Right, that's the one. But everything else. Yeah, I would get the I could transition and <laughs> become a female. I yeah, get the yeah. deck off. You get the um, Michael Jackson nose. Yeah. You get the big lips. Do you know what? I mean, I do, do I need the big lips? I think that's one part of me. It's pretty juicy and plump. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, it's not the only part of me. It's juicy and plump. But I mean, yeah. But the, mm. those are probably. I I I don't think I really notice because the beard kind of yeah hides them. But now that I'm looking, oh, hey. well, oh, you're yeah. you're blushing. He's yeah, 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 you can't yeah. even look at these babies. I know we bay root there. The the yeah. But yeah, the, the I watched the film last night. Did that happen then? Actually, what a guy got a bay root. Yeah, but the guy was it a porn? <laughs> no, it was it was weird. It was a movie with um. Denzel Washington and Jared Leto in it. Right. And yeah, so I didn't like, know they were in a movie together. Yeah, and also that guy who you like, who will play you if you do get a biopic of your life. Martin McCann. No, Rami Malek. Rami yeah, Malek. He would play you if you did it. <laughs> but the three of them are in a room, basically. Jared Leto was a serial killer guy. Mm. And they're like talking about his crimes and they're showing crime scene photos. And Denzel's like trying to get his head and he just reaches over and twangs his root. He's like, You are, you're getting off in this. And all he's what like, do you, mean? do you mean like hits it? Yeah, so he's like, He's got a root. He no. slaps it. Yeah, so he hits the guy's dick because the guy's obviously, they think he's done these crimes. Denzel's and he, dick slapper. And they're talking about it and he gets a root. So Denzel's like, See, I knew you, fucking dirty bastard. You got a root. No. That's shocking. Um, but yeah. it was good to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jared Leto. But again, when you're watching Jared Leto, he's creepy, but you know he's a creepy guy anyway. But then it's like, he, all they did was just made his hair a bit greasier. So it's still the same beard and hair that Jared Leto has. So like, yeah. do something with it, you know, scruff he, him up a bit. He is one of those older guys that just stay young, you know. But didn't he? Didn't like he's he, in his 50s. But the, that is older than I thought. I thought yeah. I had him in maybe mid 40s, Max. No. But he, um, didn't he not know COVID happened because he was away with his cult in a forest somewhere or something? Just I, getting sucked, I think. He just does that. Here. Fair play if he was. That's the way to spend. If there's one way to spend COVID, it's in a cult. The forest getting sucked. Yeah, that, that's. I mean, tell me a better way. I mean, that'd be nice coming out. Be like, what? Well, didn't know you did to wear a mask. Where have you? If you've been, fu- where have you been? If you've been, fu- well, actually, I've been in a cult getting sucked off for the past two years. So. Yeah, that's the way. You know what I mean? Fucking. But I don't. You know what I don't get about cults? Why do they always get copy sucked Jesus? off? 
Oh right. I mean like wise, because in his cult he was wearing like this big flowing robe, he had the long hair, the beard. You know, I would go the opposite, I'd shave everything. Yeah. Eyebrows, beard, hair, I'd be fully bald. Be like a wee alien baby or something yeah. like that. Just yeah. trying to like put yourself aside from the other Jesus I would look like your man like Game of Thrones if I was fully bald, you know Faris? I haven't seen him. Oh man, you need to watch Game of Thrones, it's so good. I'll never watch it. Isn't that mad? I'll never watch it. Yeah, that. but I thought I'd never watch it and then I did. All those, all the what's it called? Fa- not fantasy. Is that the, what's the name of genre? It would be fantasy, wouldn't it? It Is would it? be fantasy. Yeah, it would be sci-fi because there's not any like aliens and shit. In See, it. I need the sci-fi. I need the tech yeah. stuff. I need all the high gadgets and things like that. That's what so. I what like. are some of your? Because now, what, what, why, why we're bumping the queue here is to talk about Saturday, but we'll get to that. We will get. But want to talk about you are a technology man. Yes. Do you I'm like space man? Do you have? I've always wanted you to go into do you, space, man. Have you ever like? Looked at Japan and stuff, <laughs> like from a distance. Or yeah, like their tech, they're always ahead of the curve with their tech. Do you know what they're what those guys are working on at the minute? Do you ever like check out Japanese websites? <laughs> do you ever think like going to Japan? I do, but they're a wee bit pixeled sometimes. Uh, yeah, I, I I saw a Japanese guy one day flying past me on the way to work, and he looked like he was on a briefcase. That, oh, I would love one of those. So like it look, I, th- I don't know what this thing is like a one wheel type yeah. briefcase. It looked like. Did you ever see? Past yeah, me? I would love to get one of those things. I must source it out. Did you ever see? They have the the hand luggage that you bring in the airports, and uh-huh. you can sit on the hand luggage and use it as a wee yes. scooter. I want one of those for traveling. www.japan.gov.uk. Yep, they do yeah. supply them to every Find resident. Out. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you remember? I I always. Remember <laughs> As when we were on your stag doing, there was a cute Japanese guy <coughs> in the oh. in the, in the queue, <laughs> and you took in, a in photo the ta- in the timeout market, yeah. But <laughs> because you were like, look how cute he is. I mean, he looked like he could have just been in BTS. He gen- but he was a weird sort of. He, he but his lo- skin was so porcelain. It was a, literally yeah. the most porcelain skin I've ever seen on a man as yeah. well. No, be it. He looked like well, yeah, it was it was beautiful. But yeah. you, you were obsessed with the guy. But I couldn't get over how great he. And he, uh, I think part of his allure to me. Mm. Was. But you know what? It's fair because those guys do it to like big lads like me. If I was walking yeah. around Japan, I'd be taking photos and all. That's true. That's so you true. know what? I'm They're just like returning Kong. the favor. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. They are. So, but he was like looking at this. At, and again, I realize now it was at like menus up on boards. Mm. But I was just like, he was just <laughs> posing. And when was my stag? Like, I, I, I must. Your have stag a photo was 2018. Right. Let's go to 2018. We must have been roughly. I'd August, say August. August. I, re- I have such clear. You memory. do. You're like if I can find these photos. Let's go to albums, uh, years. Mm, so close. Right. <sighs> years yeah. 2008. But I, do, I remember he had uh, yeah great hair as well. Oh, I was like it, he, he. You know what? Looking back, he could be in BTS. From yeah. all he might have been one of the members. So it was he at least auditioned. August. He at least made it to boot camp. Booty camp. Mm. Yeah, um, that's a place I'd like to go. Let's see where we're at. There's Charlie. Rest in peace, Charlie, my dog. I remember um, him. Yes, that was the time. Uh, was it eighteen? August. Def- it, it was definitely August two thousand eighteen. Wasn't it? Could have been earlier. Not maybe July. No, it was August. What do you think? I will bite my dick oh, off. It was. And eat it. If it wasn't August 2018. 18th of August 2018. There you there, go. So there's, there's Shane and I on the stag. But oh, you should send me that photo and then I'll put it in a grid next to that one with you and Mark McCabe and be like, remember, <laughs> remember these boys from 2018? Here's them now. Yes, that'd be funny. I'll send you that. Um, <laughs> also, what do you think of that photo of Shane? Yeah, I don't know if we can show that ever, but yeah, yeah it's funny. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> um, it's annoying. It's weird because I'm in the years as opposed to the... You know, so 16th of August, I'll go into my actual, I'll send it to you right now, um, <laughs> and then I'll find uh, my find our, our porcelain my frequently friend. contacted three on WhatsApp, you, Shane, Catherine. Yeah, thank says, God. Says a lot about me, too, doesn't it? Enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to 2018, <laughs> right? So, technology, this is what I'm, what I'm saying, you're a guy who enjoys your technology. Hey, AI, baby. Are you, in, are you scared about that? Are nope, you into it? I'm all for it. I'm pro AI. And pro artificial intelligence life. And what do you love about it so much? Because it's freaking me out, mate. Don't let it freak you out. Because all it's going to do is going to change a few things. That's all right. Because everything has to change. You know. But see, when I watch the movies, like you watch movies, I watch movies. Well, are there any like technology movies that you watch and you go to yourself? They're the best. Like they're the best technology movies predicting where the future's going. 
I tell you what one's not Back to the Future it predicted no. nothing it predicted Trump would be president basically though didn't it did it yeah because didn't what's like Biff basically Biff, uh, looked yeah. just like Trump whenever they made him president didn't he oh, when he got that yeah, book yeah, yeah. yeah Trump does look like Biff now now you say that oh that's <laughs> that's a lovely photo of just Dave Lyon chested with his kid yeah not on me but you know ah yeah yeah just uh, oh. just there where are my stag photos I, I definitely had this Japanese I think guy. you've deleted them because you've went. I can't. I can't relive that ever again. No, but you know where it will be. It'll be in my in my days of debauchery. Yeah, I have a I have a, I have a group. Let me see, Dave. Last days of debauchery. So disrespectful. That's the, the picture in it. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> I can't even. No. So we, oh, again, this is better be worth it when I find this guy. Oh, there he is. Oh, you know fucking what? That could be a guy from BTS. You know. Genuinely, it might be. I you like, know what? I'm going to send this to Ben right now and say, you need to put this into the podcast with Butler. <laughs> um, yeah, I, but I do remember that quite quick. Because I remember how joyful you got when you seen him. I mean, yeah, I just love a good-looking guy. Maybe I'm gay, I don't know. But yeah. I just love a good-looking guy. Yeah. What can I and say? that's it. It's nothing wrong with that. You know what yeah. I mean? Have you seen Ex, Ma- Ex Machina, they call it? I've or not. Is it Ex Machina? Is it Ex Machina? I've not. I think it's Ex Machina. And I why, why is it Machina and it's spelled like that? I don't know. What? It's funnier to say Machina. Why is it not a machine or a machine? Machina. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Because then whenever I got my ticket, they're like, do you, do you mean Ex Machina? No, I don't. I mean Ex Machina. And I give me a fucking ticket. You know what it is? Yeah, you bell end. It was a good film. Be rude. your favourite actor's son in it. Who's my favourite actor's Brent son? Brenton Gleeson. Brian Gleeson's son's in that? Yeah, Domnall. I, I have no idea he even had a son. Yeah, Domnall Gleeson. Domnall Gleeson? Domnall. Domnall? Domnall, yeah. Right. Domnall. I think it's Domnall. Like, I could make. I could be really disrespecting my Irish heritage here. Domnall Gleeson. There he is. Domnall, mate. Oh, why? He's ginger as fuck. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. I mean, that couldn't be any more Irish, could it? No, but his dad's Brian Gleeson, you know. Yeah. Who I love. Brian Gleeson hosted Saturday Night Live one last year. Do you, do you still watch that? Uh, I'll dip in and out of it from time to time. I've, I've There's asked. one group on it that are great. Called They're a sketch comedy group called Please Don't Destroy. Uh-huh. And they're allowed to do like a segment every week. Uh-huh. It's the best part of it. And then after that, I don't watch. But I find it's got a really shit. Like, I, I, I never yeah. loved Saturday Night Live. I can remember back in the day, in the FNT days, you and Mark really loved Saturday Night Live. Oh, well, I've always loved it and since I, I was like didn't. a kid. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. I remember Paramount... Remember the TV channel Paramount? Oh, why? They one day, when I was like 10 years old, started playing from the very first episode of Saturday Night Live. And so my bedtime routine was to watch, and because it like backdated to 1975, yeah. watched all the Chevy Chase episodes, watched all the Eddie Murphys, watched all the Dana Cut, like watched every episode up until like 2000 and whatever. And was there an era there that you enjoyed the most? Eddie Murphy's... Era. Eddie Murphy's your guy though, wasn't he? Like yeah, he just took over though. Like he's the only ca- he was hired at nineteen years old. Imagine being nineteen and that's your first gig. He auditioned for Saturday Night Live and that was the only audition he ever did in his career. Do you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah. After he did that, just never auditioned for another movie nor TV show. So how then did he get the role of the the woman in Naughty Professor? Because how'd they know he'd be a good woman? Because I have a funny feeling he had uh, a good large bit of input into that movie. And he was yeah. like, here, I know who can play a great hefty woman. Me. But then how did they know he'd make a good Norbit? You, you, do you, want, you don't know if... It, you just The thing with <laughs> Norbit is you can never tell who's going to be a good Norbit. You oh, just have to let them go. No, I, I like Eddie Murphy. But yes. I watched the film he did recently and I thought it was shit. What was it? Him and that guy that's like a... He's a bit in a bit of trouble at the minute. Jonah Hill. Oh, that is bad. Yeah, that was shit. That is bad. I only watched the first like thirty minutes of it, and I was like, nah, this is. Uh, it was trying to be a comedy movie. Because you know what, some comedy movies are like, like nowadays they always want to have like that. We're so woke message. It's like, nah, just be funny. Just be, and you can't you know? be woke and funny. No, that's what we've learned. Yeah, and the whole message of that was it doesn't matter that people are black and white; they can still be together. You know, because people are people. Well, we, we know that, obviously. Nah. That's not where the jokes is. The jokes yeah. is you inviting him for a wee black dinners. <laughs> and then you have, then you have like, flip, and then you then you's all look yeah. at the white guy like, yeah. you don't like grits? No. <laughs> but do you know what? True story. I tried grits when I was in the holiday, and I didn't yeah. like them. What are grits are... 
I'm trying to remember what they're they like, are. I thought they were kind of like potatoes or something, but they're almost like... like Are they grainy? They're like a, a grainy rice type thing, yeah. and you put butter on them, and it just wasn't delicious. Yeah, yeah. Because I was excited about it. I'm like, oh, this looks good shit, but yeah. I'd rather just be You spoiled. have the look of a guy that would <laughs> like grits. Oh, why? Like, you know what I mean? It just grits seems mm-hmm. like... Grits be your nickname on the streets. Oh, yeah, grits. Like, I'm baby grits. Baby and grits, 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 you wouldn't want to get in the wrong side of grits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Do you like eating grits? Is that why you're called grits? No. You're like, no, they're like, cause, you know, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I got grit in my ass cheeks, baby. Yeah, you'd be like, grit's got the shits, baby. Oh, no, grit's <laughs> got the shits. <laughs> That's you when you go to an Indian as grits. Yeah. Oh, what's the... What's sorry, sorry. Your wee shaky legs on the table. I know, Come I know, on, yeah, man. I know, I know. I've, I'm a shaky guy. You, don't, you know what you look like? You know what you remind me of today, the way you're dressed? Go ahead. Like at the documentary no one did in McCabry. Did you watch it? You look like one of Nolan's guys. like guy. one of the prisoners. This actually looks like Nolan and McCabry. <laughs> This is like the movie version of it. Yeah, the earring and all. I know. Like, <laughs> I love the way I listen. No one's just. He's just too straight in this show. You need to. Yeah. You need to make him a bit more flamboyant. Yeah, yeah. And then so you've got this guy. Yeah. You know, I look like somebody that's just before they're in their gear for RuPaul. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> they're just, before this, gear. This is how he turns up with his bag on. Yeah. 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 Contestants in RuPaul turn up to RuPaul like football teams turn up <laughs> yeah. to, the, to the big game. <laughs> so their wee satchel on. bag. Like. <laughs> what would your drag name be? Oh, uh, pff, we've did this before. But uh, no, that's for politicians, but not yours. Uh, my drag name? I don't know. What, what do you reckon? What, Buster what? Bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm never going to be able to top that yet. Yeah, bust her butthole. Yeah, Bust her butthole. <laughs> yeah. Um, yours would be... Dusty Cox. I think I'd be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, or it'd be a Chinese one or a Japanese one called Sucky Cox. <laughs> I'd just be like that guy. Yeah, that would work well. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm dressed like this today because I'm on a, I'm on a bit of a relaxing day today. Nice. Oh, nice. You know what I mean? Why, uh, and, and what's the plan for your relaxing day? Now, the, what you're about to say, People go, that's not a good way to start your relaxing day. Yeah, what are you doing directly after this? I have to go to a dentist. I have to go to... Now, to be fair, it's I've only, I'm only getting a checkup. I'm not like... There's no pain happening. That's good. There's no cavities. There's no fillings. There's no root canals. Very, I tell you what, dude, it's very sexual when you think about it. Yeah. Root canals and fillings? Oh, well, yeah, I suppose. Mm. Oh, that's... We should open Things it. getting poked in your mouth? Yeah, oral care. Or, yeah. Oral cavities? Yeah. Mm. We should open a gay club called The Dentist's. Yeah. <laughs> and the doors are a big mouth with yeah. teeth. <laughs> you have to enter. And a guy greets you at the door with the rubber gloves on. Ah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Welcome to the dentist. Good. What procedure are you getting tonight? Oh, I have a hole that needs to fill in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I bet you do. We'll sort it out. Need some mouthwash. Uh, <laughs> There you go. But I guess that's just cum. You're like, I know. This is the dentist. That's your ear. <laughs> and you have to spit it out. I know. <laughs> spit it into the wee sink there. And then, oh, yeah. And the sink's just some guy's mouth. <laughs> it's just a guy called Sink. It's the spunk <laughs> sink. There you go. Uh, <laughs> the urinals are just all mouths. Oh, no. <laughs> you, you would have a great time. Like, let's do it. <laughs> Invest in I. Oh, give, give us some I'm dough. Hi, great with a hidden camera show would be of me and you get in the Invest in I with an idea like this and just oh. dead pan and. Just, just <laughs> that was pit. an idea I had for a show, pitching things. Yeah. So pitching ridiculous shows. Was it like a hidden pitching. camera type show? Yeah, that was the idea. That the, the whole thing would be you would film us pitching stuff and we'd be, <laughs> again, like deadpan face being like this and we want to open a bar. Okay, that's a good bar. Yeah. Or what's a gay bar? There's not many gay bars in Belfast. There's a couple. There needs to be more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's a, the theme? Well, I'm glad you asked. Dentistry. And they're like, oh. Mm-hmm. Bit, bit of a bizarre one, but yeah. I'm up for it. Guys going looking felons. Yeah, I'd be like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, guys looking in using looking looking for some <laughs> suction. You yeah. know what the root canal is? It's a lazy river, but you only get in instead of doing the measurements. They just twang your boner. You can only get into the root canal if you have a boner. The root canal, <laughs> yes. I love that. It's like a Willy Wonka style fucking the chocolate fucking river. Yeah. <laughs> You need a root canal instead of gondolas, just giant dicks, just the big staffs, you know, those <laughs> big dildos. Uh, oh, yeah. And um, they would have in Palympus too. Oh, oh. But they just come out and they suck you. They just out of nowhere. Yeah. And then back <laughs> underwater again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I would love to. Do, I mean, after this, I'm gonna get a notepad out and do a design of what the, the dentist, the dentist, <laughs> what's it called? The it dentist sounds like just. a great club. <clears throat> yeah. I'll tell you that much. You, like, for, it's got a lot going on. Like, there's I, a lazy river in it. Yeah, I went to a nightclub once whenever I was on holidays, probably 17, 18, and it was like in a swimming pool. I don't know how they allowed it to happen, right. but there was this um, log that you walked across, 
and I remember watching it and I was in the water and there's this girl walking across it and this other girl and I think you'd sort of like try to bump each other off this guy just tapped her ankles and she fell on her head off a log and went into the river and I was like oh no this is dangerous how do you pass that in health and safety <coughs> that sounds like the most modest <coughs> nightclub I've ever heard in my life but it's a good time just yeah. in water drinking and everyone's kind of running the boat and so swimming. water hated oh why yeah there's nothing I don't, I, I don't even know where it was but I'd like to not go back now because I just thought afterwards what would be in that water You're, yeah uh, yeah it'd be jizz yeah. Oh yeah, and jizz is waterproof. So yeah, I mean goblet to jizz. Uh, yeah, that's disgusting. If the next COVID happens, it comes from wherever that place yeah. is. I can tell you that. Oh, there's a room in the dentist surgery called the drilling room. You go in to get a good drilling. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And he doesn't like even it. do it to your mouth. Yeah. Do you need some paste? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to wash that mouth out. Yeah. Dirty wee. Bastard. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> um, but yeah, that would be on our pitching show. We go in, we'd pitch, we make it happen. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we pitch to the tourist board about our ideas for advertisement with the monkeys. Oh, yeah, being like <laughs> to the old, well, listen, do you want to bring traffic to a standstill? <laughs> Here's what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Imagine that, their thought. Like, I, I, that's what makes me laugh more than anything is the thought of people reacting to people doing ridiculous things well yeah it's that it's people having to do their job properly and maintain a straight uh-huh. face and be like okay you know as we're pitching it that's yeah. where the funny comes from where would you get, like here's where would you get the monkeys from the zoo mate yeah yeah well I mean we've uh, apparently the oldest monk uh, oldest gorilla in Europe is in Belfast Zoo yeah. turned 60 perfect way to celebrate out of Fro- the penthouse fucking out the yeah. window <laughs> out of the penthouse that's its yeah. pension yeah. Like the monkey gets pension. But you see the two elephants are on the way, heading, leaving Belfast Zoo, mate. Are they out? They're going I thought we only had one. No, we've two. We've Jeez. a mental one and then a normal one. There's a mental elephant yeah. and a normal elephant? there's a mental elephant in Belfast Zoo. What's the mental one like? The mental the elephant, he just sits and nods his head all day. Is that why he's mental? Yeah, because I think that what happened, he got abused and he was taken from a circus, so they had him tied up all day and he was just like... Oh. And he still does it now, which is sad, God love him. Oh, so when you go see him, is he Yeah, he's still nodding, that? yeah. And then there's the other one just kidding about being, would you fucking wise up? Yeah, he's like, stop nodding, you're, but you're weirding me out. They're sending them to Holland for some reason. The home of elephants? Yeah. At least so I don't not send them to Dignitas. Yeah. That would have been bad. No, I would send them fucking straight up the Opal Tower is what I would do for the grand finale. <laughs> Imagine yeah. getting an elephant off the Opal Tower. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it would go far. It would bounce off the tower on the way down and you'd probably be like, oh no. You'd, you'd fuck a lot of things up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It would but be like, here's the thing that I often think about. Like, there was a spider in the corner of my house. It was probably about that high up, right? So I needed to get on the chair to try and get it down. That's and I flicked it and I fell, hit the ground. Yeah. And then walked away. It walked away? Yeah. And so, <coughs> and you didn't, what did you not do? Well, I stood on it, like, but once oh. I got down. Yeah. But the point is, how can a spider survive falling from up there to the ground? It's good I mean, point. because you look at the comparison of size, that to a spider, yeah. that should obliterate. Yet if you push an elephant out of the Obel Tower, it would be in a million pieces. And it's probably a similar size difference to a spider. To the ground as it would be for an elephant to fall from the Obel Tower. We need like a scientist to come on it because there's bound to be a. I'll get comedian, come scientist, Emer McGuire onto the podcast, and I'll sure. say, Emer, explain to me how a spider can fall from my roof, and it lives and walks away. In fact, that that's my that's what the show we pitch now is. We get Emer McGuire involved because she's the scientist. And we bring her in, but we don't tell her what we're pitching. We're, being, yeah. we're pitching a science show. Yeah. And what's the gist? We push animals off towers. And then we, we push animals off different heights of objects yeah. and things. And we see if they survive or if they splatter yeah. into a million pieces. You know what? They always say like about the jungle and the jungle book and survival of the fittest. And what a, this is kind of what it is. You know, and when people say, you can't abuse animals. No, I'm not saying you should abuse animals. It's a science thing. But I'm saying... That as part of the food chain and the yeah. circle of life, yeah. humans are at the top of the food chain and they can decide what they do. And if they want to push animals off towers, they can. It's it's for, it's a science program. Relax, yeah. guys. Wise up. You and know another I mean? thing is, can dolphins live out of water because they breathe air? No. No. They have, to, they have to always be in water. Or else you would have land dolphins, which we don't have. Yeah, but they breathe. So... Yeah, but they have to be in water. They can only survive a certain amount of time out of the water. Well, there's the next experiment. We take fish out of the water and see how long yeah. they survive. But, for. I mean, you think a whale or a dolphin should... But then, yeah, beach whale, they die. But they breathe they, out their blowholes. So, what the fuck's the problem? Yeah. Yeah. I, you know what I would do? I would create a, a machine 
it's just load of hoses and it just just shoots to the just constant like it's in a like a moving car wash just for a big wheel and i take my wheel for a walk that'd be pretty good yeah, yeah. i could see you doing that you'd yeah. definitely be a wheel walker yeah i could do a wheel walker I, you know i like the idea of releasing like bears because you know if you've ever been to wild you Island, like the idea of releasing bears mm-hmm. there's in the show bear versus bear yeah, and it's you, you, let all you the bears, versus a bear. You let all the bears out of the dentist surgery, and then you release like black bears, and you see what happens. Who wins? Oh, there's black bears in the dentist surgery too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just floating around the lazy river. Yeah, it's a root canal. Um, but yeah, what other weird animal experiments would you like to see done? Insects, something to do with insects. Take like a bee and do something with it. Oh, what I do? A, a load of bees. And then you like you, you airproof an old person's home, and you just release loads of bees in the old person's home and see who lives longer: the bees or the old people. What do you mean you airproof? Like, you, like you, there's no escape for the bees. The bees are stuck in there. So right, okay. All these you. old people are just in playing chess. How many old people is there? Sixty. Many bees is there? Forty-five million. And just release them all in, and see if the old people can survive. <laughs> see what they do. Forty-five, yeah. forty-five millions too much. Yeah. It's too much bees. That's what they're doing. Yeah. That's, that's nearly in a the sunny in the Sunnyfield care home. <laughs> that's eight hundred thousand bees per person. <laughs> Is that too many bees? There's no way. The bees aren't even surviving, <laughs> let alone the old people. Would it just be full, like the capacity? Yeah, well, that's the experiment. <laughs> There'd be no room to breathe. Right. <laughs> so then, so yeah. who would live? It's, I mean, nobody. No, there'd be no, no one alive. The bees would eat and sting the fuck out of them alive. And then what do you do? Set it on fire? Well, <laughs> now I have a feeling no one's living, Dave. Funny but enough. this is why I love Imagine science. Imagine two pensioners just walked out, <laughs> flame-retardant, bee-retardant pensioners, just <laughs> like, all right, there we go. <laughs> Well, this is why these experiments need done. That was retardant, by the way, yeah. just <laughs> for the people who were... But you know also, like, you can say what you want. Obviously, the regime in Nazi Germany was problematic. But those guys did some pretty cool experiments that... Did you ever see the dog head one? No, but I'm here for it. What's this? <laughs> I'm going to show you a photo of it. It'll be very easy for me to find. Because it's in your favourites. I'm going to say it was either the Russian... It may have been Russian... It may, do you know what? It may not have been Nazi. It may have been Russian dog head experiment. Russian dog head experiment. There but it I, is. <gasps> oh, so what they tried to do was take the head off a dog, but keep it alive by keeping it linked up to... Oh well, and did it work? No. Uh, it bre- it apparently I think it lived for like. It shouldn't be able to breathe, mate, because it's got no lungs. I but they kept its lungs connected to these oh, wee tubes. And you all. know what they should do? They should move the head on the human lung guy, and then just replace him with the, <laughs> the dog's head. There you go. Dog Nazi. Maybe it was the Nazi one. But yeah, they basically just took the head off a dog and made it live for like a minute. But see if you're a Nazi, right? And you're like in the science and all. Mm. And you're a psychopath. It'd yeah. be a good time to be alive because they're like, you can just do whatever experiment on animals you want. They're like, we're open to every and all ideas. We're yeah. we're we're looking for weird and zany things. Because that's the gist to. of the human centipede, isn't it? Like an old Nazi guy still wanting to do some experiment. That's right. That you had know? three movies. Did you ever watch any of them? Yeah, all three. No, I watched the the first one. I think I watched the OG. Yeah, yeah. We watched yeah. it in uni at the time because that's when it was out. We were all sitting in a room together, like, around a laptop, being like... This is the human up. centipede is my biggest motivation in life. For in what way? Because you know how difficult it is to get anything made. Uh, sure, in this yeah. country, yeah. In the world, like, yeah, it's yeah, hard to get yeah. a film made. Yeah. So how, like, you come up with an idea, you have this idea, so some guy... And it's definitely a guy, because a woman's not going to come up with That's the true. idea of sewing shitters to people's mouths. yeah. But a guy's come up with this idea, and it's okay to have an idea, because sometimes I have ideas, sometimes I have thoughts, and I'm like, you know what, it's better off to just keep these thoughts in my head. Yeah. You say them outside, problematic. Yeah. You know, but this guy said a thought, and he's gone, I've got this film idea. Mm-hmm. Then what he has done is gone to tell, probably a production company first, I'd imagine. Yeah. Maybe his agent, I have this idea, and then the, that person he's telling has to go, oh yeah. That could work. Then they have to go, once they're on side, then they'll have to go to some sort of executive producer to find funding 
for maybe a, a taster, and that's probably the wrong word to use when you're oh, here. talking about a human centipede. But then they have to go to like a, a film company or a tele, like you know, in this case, a, and then they have to pitch this idea, yeah. and then they have to go, okay, do we give some development money to this? Mm-hmm. And then they have to develop. And then it's so many different ways. The people should go, no, you're sowing our souls the mouse. Yes, Absolutely not. there should be someone at some point during the process should have went, maybe we should just put a pin in this one. Yeah. Maybe we should just... But my point in it is, is like, if that can get made... Anything's possible. Anything's possible. Yeah. So you're sitting here being like, oh, there's a couple of comedians shooting the shit, being silly about doing these animal science experiments. Yeah. Fast forward five, ten years. Yeah. We could be fucking cheetahs off the top of the Albert clock. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, it might not exactly be monkeys from the Obel Tower. Yeah. But... You get, and it'll be called Dr. Dave Little and his, yeah. wee, and his wee body yarn. And that's... Yeah. <laughs> and and that's, uh, Dr. Dave Little. Yeah. And that's that sounds like a cute kid show, but it's just us doing experiments with animals. I mean, what would be great would be if we, if we sold it to CITV and they didn't know what the experiments were. They just think they're doing ZNA experiments with animals. <laughs> that was just us. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> just a penguin in a plastic bag. Yeah. And you're just going out it goes. How long? Oh, there's good. That's a see. That's a good penguin one. in a plastic. How bag. How long can a penguin live in a plastic bag <laughs> with 45 million bees in it? Oh, and then you you would come along and be like, oh, I'm I'm a real big fan of like DC and that universe. Can we make a human penguin? Can we make all the Batman characters in, out of real humans? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's. that's yeah, what would you do to make Mr. Freeze? Just like inject antifreeze into his veins or something? Or? Yeah, I think that's the way you do it. Or uh, you just put them in a big food-style freezer, big industrial-style freezer, and just freeze them up. Yeah, would you like? Would you put his wee hand? Like, you know a way in... Like, you paint them blue and all. In China, and they put the wee really tight ballet shoes on, the people's far the feet, or in the women's feet, or all like that. Yeah. Do you put them in wee, like, gloves like that to make his fingers... I think so. Yeah, I think. I think. And then beat them with hammers. Yeah, yeah. And then and throw them off the just building. Watch them shatter into a million pieces. Yeah. Yes, and what what I would do would be try to find something to put his willy between his legs so it sticks out like a wee penguin tail I at the back. Try to find something. Yeah. As if you don't already have something that'll do. Yeah. That. And then Bane, like, do you remember Bane in the yes, Christopher the Nolan films? Oh right. He was all like, fruit of the darkness. Yeah. But then the one in the original ones, like pushing a guy through a shopping trolley. Again, did he shove someone out a window or did Bane die for him being pushed out a window in the... Something like that. He was also played by a wrestler, I believe, but I don't know who well, it he was. He was jacked, that Bane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't and know he had all like it was. his veins and all I don't think it was a well-known guy. Yeah, maybe it was one of the only indies, you know. Yeah. Um, but, so, yeah. That was a good time. So I think that seg- segues on nicely to the thought of like moments in time, sure. life moments five years from now we have our goals yeah at the sa- at saturday there we had a pretty cool experience which is why we have bumped you know this is why this episode like this thursday saturday bump 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 baby like b2k b2k yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. get them on the show i'd love to get them in the dentist. that's another thing we could do if we don't want to do uh, animals anymore we could try to make the ultimate boy band but by just like Frankenstein and all Other different boy bands. bands together. Yeah, if you could make an ultimate before we get into Saturday, <laughs> you have to take five members of all their already existing boy bands, like put them dicks? together. No, not their oh. dicks. No, take five members of boy bands and put them into one boy band to make the ultimate boy band. Who uh-huh. you who who you picking? See, it's almost is, like a fantasy football for a boy yeah, band. Yeah, this is interesting because it, I love boy bands and this is hard to do. Yeah, because well, like you've boy band singers, and then you've people who are the best singer. And in my opinion, the two best singers out of any boy band, mm-hmm. American or UK, we're talking like a yeah, really yeah, it could be both, be both, or Ireland. West I Ireland. think the best singer, the two best vocalists, are probably Lee Ryan from Blue, okay, and Mark from Westlife, as in just good singers, okay, okay, fair you enough. know, because like, so are they in your fantasy no? This boy is band? what you have to pick a, a vocalist because there's other elements. So are like, you, are you including bass harmonies and stuff here? Is that no, what you're thinking? You of? need just the best. If if one was just the best singer, yeah. for example, Robbie Williams would yeah. not be the best vocalist, no, but on no. his own, what a, what a showman! He's got the X factor, he's got the this charisma. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? So, but you need you need sex appeal in there too. So, mm. like when you're looking for Mark and Lee Ryan, they don't have the most sex appeal of all the guys, mm. but they're the best singers. Yeah, Lee Ryan's okay. a good songwriter. You know, it's like how do you? Okay. Because like you take who are the biggest ba- like probably Wonder, Backstreet Boys and NSYNC One Direction. Yeah. I wouldn't. I don't even know if any One Direction would make my final cut of the Ultimate Boy Band. Really? Yeah. Nine Styles. Nah. Because I think I love Harry Styles, but I think he's a lot to answer for now. <laughs> Why? Guys are dressing like fucking grannies. I it's love weird. it. Weird. 
Yeah. It's weird. It is. I had somebody, someone said something about, speaking of Saturday, said something about, on a comment about me, said, oh, Dave's made an effort, he looks a bit more stylish. Okay. And I was like, yeah. What are you trying to say? Yeah. Well, How do you know? Like, I my was it doing all normally look stylish? I mean, you, you know, you just look normal to me. Yeah, right? but you know what? I looked at this guy's profile, and he was wearing a fleece. Mm-hmm. He had rings, on too many rings in his fingers. He had a moustache and curtains. So, like, Come on. why are kids running about with a style? And also Asian grandmother trousers, you know, that don't go the full length. Ah. Have the way ankles out. Like, I don't know what it is about guys. Curtains, again, talking about boy bands, curtains have never looked good at any period of time. No. Neither have mullets. No. So you look back on it and... Mullets are back in, though. But you know what? So are curtains. Yeah. But this is the thing about it. The guys will look... I think people who grow mullets and people who grow curtains are compensating for the fact of no personality. So it's a point for people to talk about. Ah, you've got a mullet. You must be fun. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm boring. Yeah, yeah. Stop yeah, it. Yeah. Mustaches. Mustaches look shit. Like, see, nowadays, like, there was a look about pe- pedos, wasn't there? Back in the day, they're like pedos with the big coat, those glasses that make their eyes look all small. Yeah. And beards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bald with beards. Yeah. That's what. B and B. Pedos look like. I don't know what that describes yeah. me, but I don't yes. have the coat or the wee glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nowadays, to me, like, that guy with the curtains and the mustache and the fleece, he looks like, like a Christian summer camp leader. Gotcha. And I'm not saying that all Christian summer camp leaders are young nonces. But hey, some but of here, them are. Here, if the shoe fits. Yeah. And that does. It fit. does. So that's all I'm saying. If you've got curtains and a mustache and you wear a fleece and you've rings in your finger. Here's the thing about rings. Rings are stupid and they're impractical. Don't wear too many rings in your finger. Yeah. It's weird. You're it's not creepy. a magician. No. You know what I mean? You're not Doctor Strange. Yeah, but you are just fucking strange. Yeah, you know exactly. Doctor fucking strange. Doctor fucking strange. He he's the superhero. DJ at the dentist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Give it up strange. for Doctor fucking strange. <laughs> <laughs> that would definitely be a Northern Irish superhero character. Doctor fucking strange. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a guy going crazy on the streets of Castle Court. Yeah. <laughs> would there be any Northern Irish superheroes? Is that something we could talk about? Northern Irish superheroes. If you were to take any superheroes and make them in the Northern Irish, uh, but. Batmate. <laughs> Batmate. <laughs> Superman. Yeah, super fella. <laughs> super lad. Uh-huh. Uh, I think Woodsy once said Northern Iron Man. Northern Iron Man is no, good. Woodsy said the Ravengers, I remember one time. Of course he did. Yeah, that was a very yeah. Woodsy thing. Um, What's that other group called? Uh, the Justice League. Yeah, they would be the... No Justice League because they're trying to clear no Justice because yeah, they're yeah. trying to clear the fucking yeah, all yeah, amnesty yeah. and all that shit. See yeah. politics, you get it here too. Don't know any other superhero groups, but those are the two main ones. Uh, any other Northern Ireland superheroes? Fantastic Four. That's a group, isn't it? That's that guy that looks like me. It's all orange and all. <laughs> the thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. He only comes out on the twelfth of July. Yeah, Inferno's uh, just a bonfire. <laughs> yeah. Straight up. Um, what's the one? I'm trying to think. Oh, I, I, nah, it's gone. I was thinking of one on, on Captain America, but it's it's lost now. Oh, no juggernaut. Is he the guy, the guy you're thinking of He's from, from Captain the America? X-Men. He's from the X-Men. Yeah. The X-Men's just a trans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The X-Men's just the X. Yeah, the used X to trans. be a man. Yeah, the X just used to be a man. It's no, no longer identifies a man. Yeah, just, that's, <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, but yeah. Dr. Sexy Xavier would be at the... <laughs> at the um, oh, no. And there's, there's a word that rhymes with mag that would work well in Magneto. <laughs> and that'll be a character. And, the, and um, funny, the actor yeah. playing him is a bit of a... <laughs> <coughs> oh, <coughs> just, a great, just a great character. We've uh, lost him. Uh, oh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, moments in time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Saturday night. Oh, Saturday night live, we can say. <laughs> it was live and it was yeah. Saturday and it was on a night. We were doing the Tea With Me podcast at the Odyssey, the SSE Arena. Have you uh, seen the photos from it yet? Not loads of you. I'll send you a photo oh, nice. link to them. Very, very fun. Very nice. great photos. The photos are, are beautiful. Yeah. Memories in well, time. Memories in time. But it was it was good fun. The whole night was actually fun from we got there. It was fun. Um, did you see me falling? I... Yeah, probably the best thing that happened that we were, we were all playing. Shane brought a football backstage. Yeah, because we he's twelve. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He can't just sit still. We were just uh, all kicking the football about, and you, <laughs> Nal, was like filming back behind the scenes footage of us playing the football. And Willie went and sat down, and you thought it'd be funny to just blast the ball full pelt at Willie. So you blast the ball at <laughs> Willie, and as you do it, you take 
what can only be described as the most comedic fall I've ever seen in my life, where <laughs> you swing back, <laughs> the momentum of your leg, <laughs> you put... So- you put so much force <laughs> into hitting this ball that the momentum of your leg swung you straight on to your hole and back. And with the way Nell has filmed it, you can <laughs> you see the ball getting kicked. And then about a second later, you just see your hand, shoulder and foot yeah. just oh. like in the frame of the camera. Like it was a proper bump. It wasn't like a fall. It was like feet up. Like the one I did in Edinburgh, remember? It yeah. was like as good as that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But again, that was karma for me being a wee dick. Because I just yeah. looked at Willie there and I was just like, look at him writing his wee notes. That's lava ball at him here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I was the only one who took my shoes off as well. So it was just in my socks. So that's yeah, when I slipped. Yeah, because you didn't need to take your shoes off. No, but I wanted to. I wanted closer control. <laughs> it, and I got my, my vengeance. <laughs> yeah, you were like, like, that's the way people play beach football. Like. Yeah, you know, I'm always happier on the beach. Yeah. But I ate shit after that. It was a boom yeah. impact. And it was very rough. And we all laughed. Yeah, for a it was a very good time. Long Long, long, long time. Do you know what the good thing is? I can take a fall well. You really can. That that could have been a, that could be a lot of pain there. Yeah, but yeah, somehow yeah, yeah. Went yeah. back into my old wrestling day training. All I learned yeah. to do was fall. Doosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're nice at that time. age now. You've only got a few more of those left. Oh no, because yeah. that if Your that bomb uh, counter is low. No, but that that was that. I mean, every ten years I did it. The Edinburgh Fringe yeah, where you were there, and then I've done it. So eleven years since my last big yeah, fall yeah, like that. Yeah. So so when um, you're forty eight now. <coughs> I'll, I'll just be spending a lot of time with you just waiting on your yeah, fall the fall is coming the fall that was good guy. fun the, but yeah the, how did you enjoy the whole night it was uh, probably the most surreal mad experience you can ever think of like, like until with, we get commissioned with the dentist until surgery. we get the, and yeah. the animals program the, <laughs> the, but yeah it's like uh, people are asking what's it like and stuff or how was it and things and it's like it was everything you would expect you know it's it's an arena and it's it's just this big, yeah. huge fuck off place where there's a million. There's just like well, it feels like a million people. There's just six thousand. Yeah, but even yeah. in terms of like staff, it's just staff everywhere. You're just like yeah. it would be so easy just to be a staff member and do fuck all because there's that many of them. Oh, a great great story about I had to go just at the start of your set to give Catherine an armband to get her backstage after the show. So I had to walk right to the back of the arena whilst you were on, which I remember one person was sort of like pointed as that. And I was like, because it must have been weird for them knowing that there's a guy about to be on that stage. Yeah. He's just walking around. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah. So I walked out to, to do that. And as I was walking back around, there was one of the security guys. And I said to him, here, would you not stick your head out there and watch? And he goes, oh, I'm already watching something here. And he turned his phone around. And you know what he was watching? Just a blank ring doorbell. Just his ring doorbell. <laughs> just totally empty. He's just sitting watching it. Um, That's how thrilling my set is. Yeah. That someone would rather watch their blank ring, blank doorbell, ring doorbell on a Saturday night yeah. that nothing's but happening. He was on. an old guy, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but Fabricant? Yeah. 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 <laughs> the, uh, the, it's weird, because obviously when you're on stage, you can't see anything. So you're literally just performing via black screen, almost. Like a black, a, 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 an, a, an aura of blackness. But you know there's people there, because you can hear it. But you're just like, I don't know where to look here because it's all, all black, all dark. Yeah. Did you have you ever seen the movie Bronson with No. No. There's a moment in it where it's like in Charles Bronson's head and it's like him in a theatre and it's all empty. And that's what I always rem- it reminds me like big rooms are like. Because mm-hmm. you're like you're doing your set, but you're really just doing it for you. you yeah. Because you, really can't, you can't see anybody. Yeah. The laugh, like because whenever you're on, you did really well. And again, it'd be fun Thanks. for me to go, yeah, shit, but but you know, yeah. for the sake of the podcast, yeah. but I can't. You did really well, Thanks and, very and much. I appreciate you could, it. it was that wave. You could mm. feel the wave of laughter coming back. Timing was definitely way more difficult. I was because yeah. you're, you're just like, when do I start the next bit? Because there was one moment you did a bit, and you were like, you sort of say the joke, and you nod your head, but you're nodding your head longer because the laugh was coming back to you. Yeah, you know what I mean? you're yeah, like, yeah. I'm just taking this in here, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And you did, you handled it really well, and it was just, it was fun to watch that bit because yeah see when you're doing a podcast live you're under less pressure than you are when you're doing stand up because uh, you know, like I wasn't nervous really at all yeah and there was one bit whenever I kind of looked out when you were on and I was like whoa there's a lot to take in here there's a lot going on yeah it's it's but, insane and in a way I was kind of glad that like when you were doing the pod I went out to the side to watch and when you're out the side obviously uh-huh. you can see the audience when I was looking at the audience from the side I was like Thank fuck I didn't see that when I was on stage. Yeah. Because when you're, if you see that on stage, it, it genuinely would just leave you like, yeah, just startled. Um, to see that amount of people in the one area together, close to, it's just yeah. Um, but yeah, it was it was such a great night. Everyone did fucking class. It was 
so much fun so memorable everyone it's just a great laugh the ending was class when oh. mark mccabe came out for maniac and, yeah. you, and you did the worm you you're to blame for that by the I way to blame for that. you well, who else was it because now by this point if anyone wasn't there <laughs> i was blocked right because i had been drinking i had a bottle of wine into me over the course of the podcast and you know what whenever we did the mock blame yeah i i i'll be honest i went i, yeah. I didn't love it yeah, yeah for yeah. me personally yeah great night whatever else i didn't yeah. think I, I, I contributed that much or that well to it mm. so I was like fuck what was wrong and you know what it was I think I'm almost too polite so like yeah. when pe- I don't like shouting out over people I don't like shouting oh I know that yeah, yeah. and then you know I had people on my team that just are ignorant bastards so that was fine <laughs> for, for me what's funny so, is there's only two other people yeah, on your team both ignorant bastards but anyway I was like I, and I felt nervous about that whereas yeah. on Saturday I'm like I don't want to get nervous and not say anything so I'm like, you know what I'm going to treat it like it's a fun time. I'm just there with my two mates. We're yeah. having... I'm going to have a wee drink. We're going to have a wee drink of wine, a couple of beers beforehand. Mm-hmm. Then Willie whips out the shots. And I'm like, you know, I'm fucking him here. W- w- Willie was supplying yeah. the boys. Like, so Willie I, brought a bottle well, of cake. With, with shots. Yeah, when yeah, you yeah. say Willie supplying the boys, yeah, yeah. people might think something else. Yeah, they <laughs> might think he was at the dentist. You but know, he, yeah. uh, he, he, he... Willie brought a bottle of apple cactus jack with yeah. him. Yeah. <sighs> nice stuff. Yeah. But when I was up there, it was just a, it was just a fun time, yeah. you know. But by the end of it, I had a bottle of wine in me. I was giddy. Yeah, and you, then, did, you did a magic trick and stuff. Yeah, but see, at that point, that was funny because I knew in my head once Karen started talking about magic, I'm doing a magic trick. Yeah, and it was like the last gla- my last glass of wine, and Karen's story went on could have been five three minutes. Yeah, 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 I think it was somewhere in the region of twenty seven. Yeah, and at one point, I was looking at Shane. And I was drunk, and I looked over to Karen. And I was drunk, and I remember, like, you know the 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 snake in the Jungle Book when it's like <laughs> the eyes. I, yeah, I remember like it's trying to, eyes. And my eyes were trying to focus on Karen, and I was like, "Is it, when's he?" And then at one point, I was like, "Oh, I don't have anything to do my magic tricks. So I'm going to have to take my jumper off." So in the middle of his story, I was trying to take my jumper off, and I just subtly take it off and then do the trick. But see, whenever I think I did the trick, I had the microphone down. So whenever I'd done the trick, I went to speak, but I went to speak into my wine glass. <laughs> so if you look back at that, I'm going to say something, but I'm holding the wine glass. I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh. So by the time Mark McGabe came on, that was, for me, one of the coolest moments ever. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. what a song. I mean, like, it's yeah. one of the songs of my fucking youth. Yeah. So to be on a stage in front of that many people with Mark McGabe playing Maniac, I was like, this will never happen in my life again. Yeah, like, yeah. If I stop doing stand up tomorrow yeah I'll still have this moment in my life true and then all I'm hearing is do the worm and I didn't know whether it was you or Shane or both like, do the worm <laughs> and I haven't done the worm probably in 10 15 years last time I did it I nearly broke my spine because like my legs went up too far and I just felt so I was like I'm going to do it so I, I, and I was in two minds I was like do it do it do not then I'm like do it do it from standing like the Scotty too hotty and I thought you know what I'll just do a bit so I think I did a couple but when I get up I didn't have enough push to get right onto my feet so sort of half got on my feet then stumbled forward not knowing Mark McCabe was a bit meter from me oh. so I I could have on another day stumbled knocked both me and Mark McCabe <laughs> off probably a 10 foot stage oh. into the spear. yeah 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 spare yeah. spare and I mean that's the only thing that would have maybe made the night more memorable oh. would be if I killed Mark McCabe if you killed Mark McCabe that'd be the best night of my life yeah. and I'd stop doing comedy <laughs> altogether because it would never get better than that yeah and you'd probably be dumb for manslaughter for making me do it yeah 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 <laughs> I, I, me and you in the Nolan documentary yeah. you know? I didn't mean to warm him Stephen <laughs> I, why would I kill him with the worm I know. <laughs> sure, what reason would I have for killing Mark McCabe with and the worms? Be, and then you just say, listen, you know, at the end of the day, what's the matter? Because life, it has no meaning. Yeah. And then he's done. But it was it was a lot of fun. Oh, and class. You know what I love more than anything? I loved see the next day. I absolutely, I mean, I adored people putting videos of me hammered yeah, yeah, on the yeah. stage doing the worm, making a dick of oh, myself yeah, for yeah. those. I loved it. It yeah. made me feel glorious. Me too. Me too. I very much enjoyed it. Oh, I was yeah, mortified. But you know what? It's one of those things. I can't look back and go, "Fuck, oh, I should have done the worm now, did it?" You, 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 you definitely yeah. did it. Um, I know. You know, on another point, I nearly ended up in the hoop again when I was fucking glow sticks into the crowd. I yeah. spun one so hard, I spun round, and and because I was blocked too, lost my balance. So I'm gonna fall off the stage a few uh, times. I had the worst moment with the glow sticks was I went to throw my first glow stick uh-huh. out and got too excited, yeah. and it just literally landed at my feet. Oh, no. I went like this, and it just went. Oh. Hit <laughs> and I, you can see my face like. Oh, <laughs> and there was, there, I remember there was a guy in front row who I clocked during doing the <coughs> podcast, and 
again, it was such a niche thing. No one would have got it. Karen would have got it, but nobody else probably. He looked really like the lead singer of Corn, Jonathan Davis. So I was going, to, and I was like, "Don't say that." But then I couldn't. I was trans- transfixed on this guy. Yeah. Then I went to throw him a glow stick, and I went, th- and I, I was like, I don't want to throw it in his face and hurt him. So I threw it so weak, it just dropped on the ground. And then, and then I was like, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, yeah, great fun. If anyone was there, I hope he's had a good night. And yeah, I mean, and if you weren't, you just missed out. You, know, you missed yeah. out on a, an iconic night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just mad to, to look back at everything and think this is where we're at now. Yeah, you know. You know, yeah. you think of all the, the shitty open spot gigs and the mm-hmm. driving down to Dublin for six people and all Do the... Do you remember last time I drove to Dublin and they, then the people who booked the show hadn't even booked the show? Yeah, I do remember And that. we just went for an ice cream, came home, and you were killed by a tram, good yeah, times. Yeah, 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 I do remember that. The, uh, the do you remember when we went in, the place where we're like to the bar, uh, we have a show booked upstairs? Nah, we've not heard of it. Yeah. So the pr- the company that booked it had booked me a tour show and just hadn't actually done it. Just said, yeah, you can go down there on that night. Yeah. That was fun. Um, fun times yeah, cheers sad, boys sad times and then there's four people who had just seen I was doing something on my social media that I had said I was doing it social and then media that was it shit yeah. life mate yeah yep. the, the, but look eh? at the end of the day all the, all the shit all the late nights writing and gigging and driving up and down the country they're for for nights fruits. like that. <laughs> they're for fruits. Yeah, they are for fruits. My dad would say that. Yeah. Um, no, they're for nights like that where we all celebrate and come together and uh, you know. And after the show, we did. After the show, after the show, you kept the party going. Feel like yeah. you didn't want to stop partying. No, but, I didn't. I, I but was you had a wife with you that uh, was pretty much trailing you by the ear, like a little mother dear. You child. and her sort of had to conspire together to get me going. I didn't. No, you had to help them. She needed your help to try and get me, and I was not for it. I and I wasn't for pushing the the agenda either. No. I, I was for having you stay. I, I I said, dear, listen, leave them with me. I bring the Thompsons. It's no yeah. Big deal. Oh well, I mean? we went the Thompsons on the way home. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you did. Yeah. The the uh, and yeah, like uh, and then the next day you had your my goddaughter's yeah, birthday. Yeah, it was my baby child's birthday. She was yeah. three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after. Being steaming, having a great time in an arena. And um, what time do you have to go? Oh back? no, we're good. We're okay, good. we. Um, I ended up in a splash pool mm. in Newton Arts, eleven a.m. Nothing brings you back to earth quicker than ending up in a splash pool in Arts, eleven a.m. with a bunch of screaming children. Yeah, and I can't say that I'm hungover because I'm trying to convince Catherine all night. I'm like, I'm grand. I'm not. Remember, it's Matilda's. I'll be sweet. When in reality. Not, not sweet, not sweet yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I had to, so I woke up because I'm still getting over a wee bit of man flu. <sighs> mm-hmm. So I woke up. I ended up waking up at half six oh, wow. on Sunday morning. Snuck downstairs. Had the worst headache I've ever had in my life. Like oh fuck me, it was brutal. Mm-hmm. I had two pints of water, two ibuprofens, two paracetamols. Back to bed. Woke up probably then about quarter to eight, feeling a bit better. But at that time I was like, if I don't get, out, and you know when you're so tired and can't be arsed. You're like, I'll just try and sleep it off. But if I'd have slept, I would have fucking ruined her day. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, it was not a fun time. Not a fun time. See, being in arts generally. And uh, Yes. Not cool. I'd say that, that. But with a hangover in a splash pool, problems. Yeah. And were the kids all right in the splash pool? Anyway? Oh, they had a great time, yeah. 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 My, my girls are, they just love. Long do you spend in there, but an hour? Yeah. No, I was long in there your life. About, Yeah, it was a long hour. And then afterwards... Like we we got them lunch there as well, and it was like at that point I was like this room was spinning, and there was a woman. If you're listening, she walked past me as I was walking with the kids to get lunch, and she goes, "You were great last night," and I went, "Thank you," but in my head I'm thinking she's been in an audience, watching me mm-hmm. in front of all those people, mm-hmm. and then less than twenty four hours later, reality strikes. I'm in arts in a, in a splash, splash pool. pool. Yeah. yeah. Wow. What a moment, eh? That's, That's life. life. That's life. That's it. But you know what I like? I like the thought now that see if it all ended now. Like, stand up, not my life. I'm not going to die, I yeah. hope. Yeah. But see if it all ended. Cool memories to look back on anyway. Yeah, we've lived. Life. We've did stuff. Yeah. We've we've achieved some things. Mm-hmm. You it's a good time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you we'll, ready to achieve some listeners' questions? I would love to, yeah. By the way, if you're yeah. listening here being like, oh, I never got the call for questions, it's exclusive to Patreon now. Wah, so if wah, you're not wah. a Patreon, a patron, you don't get to ask questions in the Sly Guy podcast anymore. <laughs> so how do you feel about that? There you go. Yeah, get suck yourself it. on it. Um, suck it. Suck it. What a offensive thing to say, isn't it? Suck. If you don't like something I say, suck my dick. 
Like, that's horrific. Uh, that's what Richard Pryor said to Bill Cosby when he told Eddie Murphy to stop cursing. What is this? Tell me a story. No, remember that story? It's no. a, Eddie Murphy tells it in one of his specials where Bill Cosby rings Eddie because he's being really successful yeah. and says him, you need to start being profane or uh-huh. stop being profane and whatever like that. And Eddie Murphy told Richard Pryor and Richard Pryor told Eddie Murphy, you tell Bill Cosby to suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's great times. Yeah, well, I mean... The irony is, look at Cosby now, yeah. He, oh, well, he got his dick sucked, didn't yeah. he? Well, did he get it sucked, or did he just put it in someone's mouth that was sleeping? Exactly. Knows? Tim Guerin says, does Butler, ask Butler, does he remember the tech and design teacher from CBS that used to tell us that he would fly a helicopter upside down to cut his grass? The guy <gasps> Billy Bullshit! <laughs> Billy Bullshit, yes, that was his name. Because, I mean... <laughs> remember this guy <laughs> yeah he uh there was three tech teachers all three of them were a wee bit weird he was billy bullshit because he always told lies like that uh-huh. he had a big red face on him tall guy black hair giving away a lot of description about him yeah. uh and then we had, full name wasn't billy bullshit no that's just a nickname. Uh, oh that was the nickname that we all called him uh then you had mr short who is ironically over six yeah. foot and, he, and the thing is too, his name was Mr. T Short so we used to call him Mr. Tall Short oh right I thought you were going to call him Mr. T for a bit instead yeah 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 then there was Mr. Delaney who had the thickest moustache I mean this thing was like he didn't have curtains or did it they? came over his lip this moustache oh, wow. came over his, it came down over, and we were all he just had the moustache just a ginger moustache he was bald and that was it he looked like you, Samity Sam. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I say, I say, a boy. Uh, the the no, that's the chicken, isn't it? The rooster. Yeah, he yeah. It sounds like the guy out of. Do you remember his Ventura? He said he looks like the guy from. Yes. Yeah, that's the guy. Yeah. I give you the dusty fucking yeah. roads, fucking bye, American bye. dream. Yeah. yeah, or the Mick Foley. Uh, the the my references are all over the show today. But are you nervous about the dentist, mate? Because uh, you yeah, yeah. like, am I going to go and get my teeth fixed or am I getting bummed? Either yeah, way, yeah. Either way, yeah. it's not going to be a good no. time. And you could end up McGabry and you dress for it, so yeah. it's all good. Yeah. McGabry so Sheik. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you girls are like, I love a bad boy, and there's no badder boy than a McGabry boy. The McGabry boys, yeah, making, oh, all, the, making all the oh, noise. They're in the McGabry boys. boys. Stephen, I've written a poem. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. the best. <laughs> I'm in jail. I'm a male. <laughs> this is shout. I will not fight. Let me home. Fuck your dome. Heads away, mental bastards. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, Stephen. And Stephen's like, you. You have a talent. You have a <laughs> talent. Yeah, fuck. Why are you in here? Poems like that. Yeah. Why is why someone a talent like you in here? Killed my girlfriend, Stephen. All right, okay. Yep, no keep problem. up the poems then. Cause I'm on the diases. All right, okay. No <laughs> problem, Stephen. Um, so yeah, you remember the guy? That's a good lie that he cuts his grass with an upside down helicopter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be fair, if he's still on the rip, call him, get him to yeah. add you, me, him, Emer Maguire or Science Show we can get it going I think he's bound to be retired at this point bound so he might need a bit of, bit of extra dough nah he's just going around cutting people's grasses upside yeah. down he's fucking he's the animorphs good, that's real life animorphs is what uh, we're trying to do <laughs> yeah. you know we didn't do the ultimate boy band just while I remember still on there for me Justin uh-huh. Timberlake's in there okay um, what does he bring to the table what's he not bring to the table dance, mm. sing, gorgeous write and produce and credits you name yeah. it, Trolls movie. He's and he'd, br- he'd bring Timbaland and Nelly Furtado on board for the ride and they're great. Exactly. Bet you fancy Nelly Furtado too, do you? Fucking red. Of course what he does. Saying? I'm like man a bird. Eater. Yeah, that yeah. one. That but she was sexier a man eater though when she was being all sexy, being a man eater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man eater's also a room that we have in the dentist surgery. Yeah. <laughs> and it's for we dammer like people. Yeah. Um, the, the <laughs> <laughs> we dammer like people. <laughs> Serial killers. Yeah. <laughs> What's it? What are you? What are you convicted for? Well, I was being a wee dammer like person. <laughs> oh, were you really? Um, Nick from Backstreet Boys. Okay, why? Why Nick? Because he's like just a classic. He's I got, don't know. He's got the look, and he's got a good voice what too. He does to make you cry. The Carter brother, you know what I mean? Oh, um, the, the other Carter brother, uh, R.I.P. R.I.P. The the I get Nick. I get Justin. Uh, I, I don't know his name, but I get, oh no, Amarion from B Two K's in there. We're mixing the races. Oh, wow. That's all I want to see. You're yeah. all American so far. Yeah, I am. So I need to get a UK one in there. Uh-huh. Uh, Mark from where? Or no, who's the one from Westlife that sings good? Stephen? No, no, Mark. Mark. Mark, Mark from Westlife. Yeah, but then also um, Shane sings well too. Yeah. No. Um, yeah. But Mark's gay. You always need a gay one in the boy band. Is Mark you? gay? Yeah, he's in. Yeah, because I need a gay guy in the boy band. Yeah, Mark's and in. then last one, fuck is you need you need last, a, last one. I put I'm putting in I'm putting in uh, Harry Styles from One Direction because I got to get a UK person in there. You know what I'm going to say to you? I'm going to say that that boy band on paper has too many 
Is there too many egos? There, there's too many lead singers. Yeah, there you is. need to fill different. Yeah, I need a lad's roles. bass in there. Yeah, you need a lad's. <laughs> he's gay too. Take Mark out and pop him in. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'll do that. But then that's two for men. Two for men, sing. Nah, I can't. Did none of the Backstreet Boys make it for you? They did. All right, Nick. 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 Well, I would have AJ in it from Backstreet Boys. Okay. He can sing. Got drug problem, Bill Turner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. the girls that are like, oh, they don't like the clean cut, they're like a bad They need boy. a drug addict one in so the boy band. It's either him or Brian Harvey for me. But I okay. think as a manager, it, AJ can just send him to AA. Brian Harvey's going to fucking reverse it over himself. And you're like, that's too much hassle. Or you can send him to AJ. Yeah. Al- Alcoholics Jew Anonymous. And that's Jew-nonymous? for Jewish alcoholics. Yeah. Oh, which wow. I think he is. Yeah, but I'd have AJ in there because he's a good singer and he's a bit sexy too. Yeah. And um, for men sync, obviously Justin's my favourite, but I'm going for Joy Fatone. Great choice. Because Joy Fatone can do all the dance moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a bit older. He's not like you put could put Chris Kirkpatrick in there. Mm. He can dance, but I just don't like it. I don't like it. He's in a boy band. He's ugly. Yeah. Sorry, Chris. Nice guy. You're right. So Joy Fatone. You and Joy Fatone have real AJ. similar energies, I think. Yeah. I mean, me and Joey could have a fun time yeah, after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See if you're doing a show, say Madison Square Garden. Joy Fatone's going for a one year or one dollar slice with you and a Absolutely. big and a big jug of beer and oh, hooters. Aye. Like you'll have a good time with well, Joey Fatone. Having a slice, alright. Um, so who else we throw in there? I'm going to say for singing, I'm sticking Lee Ryan in there. Aye. But then Lee Ryan's going to stress you out too, so because he he's a fucking wing nut. So Lee Ryan, <laughs> AJ, Joey Fatone. Ooh, this is a good band so yeah, far, and we need. We need a good second in command. Let's think. Have you any Westlife boys? Any take you that know what? boys? It's like I look take at the, that. You, I, what I look. At, well, I look at the boys. Hold on. Where are we? You look, I look at the boys that are like. There's rhythm guitar and lead guitar in boy bands. So you've like Mark and Westlife comes in, does all the big notes. Oh yeah! But Shane holds it. Shane's the rhythm guitar, and Mark's the the lead. So I would go. You need someone like that. So I'm going to stick into my band. Ronan Keating. Oh, so what a choice. Ronan, Ronan and Lee Ryan will be my, my main That's vocalists. That's a good choice, yeah. yeah. And then I need one more. Um, oh, I like Blue. I like it's hard to get that last one. You know what? I know I, I, It's easy. Hard Donald. Take that. Oh, from Fi? Or from no, take, take that. that with, the, with the dreadlocks. And yes. he sang um, Never Forget. We've come a long way. <laughs> Him. So he can do a bit, but he can dance. Yeah. Him and Jason Orange are also like real sex guys. Yeah. So they can just be dancing, being all sexy. The mums would fancy them. Mm-hmm. So you know what? Which, yeah, that's my band. AJ, Joey Fatone, Hard Donald, Lee Ryan and Ronan. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Um, and then just out of respect, Stephen Gately. I just love him. <laughs> Is he dead? Yes. Yeah. You know what was so sly though? When he died, they were like, oh, I bet he was up to fucking drugs and all. Fucking this. Just had a, an undiagnosed heart defect, just passed away. Aye, people the old him. people They're always like, oh, jump here, don't they? Oh, wonder what happened to him. Aye. Some people just die. Yeah. Naomi Mitchell says, So guys, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? If not, if not, what is your Roman Empire? That's a weird question. Do you know what this is about? No, please tell me. This is a meme that's going around right now that apparently uh-huh. men always think about the Roman Empire all the time. Huh. Do you think about the Roman Empire all the time? Like the actual Roman Empire, or Roman Reigns, the Reign. actual Roman all Empire. Because right. I think about Roman Reigns being the champion for so long. Me lot, too, right? me too. I think about that more in the Roman Empire. Yeah. Um, I personally don't get it, and I've I've never thought about the Roman Empire. Now, the only Roman Empire I ever think of is uh, my name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, <laughs> commanders of the armies of the North. That's really father good. to a slaughtered son, is that clapping? husband to a murdered wife, and I will love my vengeance. That is great. In his life for the next. Uh, you could yeah. be a real actor with that Thank sort you. of carry on. Hey, man. Maybe soon. Maybe there's something coming up. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think about that more. But again, I think that some people just come out. You ever, like, as a stand-up, you go, does anybody else ever do this? And sometimes it is just you, does it? Yeah. So then you're like, does anybody else ever pick their ears and then pick their arse and then sniff it? Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, do you? And, and you expect a big reaction. You're like, oh. Like that time I, I did the whole thing about Raw Moat trying to stop the war in Russia and Ukraine. <laughs> Nobody in Lavery knew who Raw Moat was. Yeah, I don't even know. I thought that was going to be my, my viral clip. Yeah. But nope. It's always the things nope. you think. It's yeah. Never so aware. that's it. But I don't get it. So do, apparently the guys think about the Roman Empire. Apparently it, it's a big, like it's all over the internet. The guys do. And I don't. You know what those guys are? Fucking losers. Yeah, Kieran. You know who I like better? Genghis Khan, mate. <laughs> Apparently he's related to like an eighth of the population, which I like. 
That's mad. So he's doing a lot of shagging out of Genghis. I mean, Genghis would have. You name like Genghis Khan, you're fucking. Genghis fucking Khan, fucking. though. I, I, I Genghis guess, can fuck. Yeah, Genghis certainly can fuck, yeah. Genghis, I always thought, was like that thing that had made you smelly breath. But it's Gengivitis, isn't it? it does Gingivitis. That Gingivitis. Mm. Ginger yeah. and Vitus. Gross. I hope no gingers invite us anywhere. I agree. Yeah, stinking. Yeah. yeah. No offense. No, <laughs> but I do mean offense. Dean McAllister says, "Hey lads, Aaron did a fantastic job filming Andrew Ryan's special recently. Okay. We can. Re- when can we expect his own special to drop? Really looking forward to it. End of November, start of December. Okay, and also, what is your latest, most oh. random online purchase?" I will look at my Amazon account and tell yeah. you right now what my last random online purchases were. That's a good idea. My latest orders. Amazon. I mean, this is always dangerous, isn't it? I mean, that's like a serial killer shopping list, mine. <laughs> Ballet shoes, Disney plasters. But yeah, yours is a bit a fucked Jurassic up. So, so, a Jurassic Park dinosaur and a resistance band. Uh, I had a USB electric heating blanket because I'm going on a trip next month where I want to have portable electric heating blanket. Nice. Uh, motion sensor lights. NFC tags. Bought what are these. They? Bought these for my house. Basically, what they are is you can set them up. So, do you know when you touch your phone to something and uh-huh. it does something? You In my house, you can touch your phone to any coaster in my house yeah. and it'll automatically connect your phone to the Wi Fi. Wow. There you go. One you are see this guy. Is, I told you, technology man. This is one of my smart home things. He's in China. Uh, another thing I but got. But you're not already connected to Wi-Fi anyway. I but if there's guests that you come into my house mm-hmm. and you're like, "What's your Wi-Fi password?" I go, "Just tap your phone to the coaster, mate." Ah, right, and okay. You go, Doot, and and then it's just, on with the just, password now. Yep. Oh wow. You have to enter anything. Um, that is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I bought cat deterrent uh, because there was a cat in my yard trying mate, to shit everywhere. Don't do that because I've tried to get cats for years now and they just, they, I got the wee things go. I got one of those as well. And they just ignored it. The big yeah, they, fat bastard came in and shite my garden anyway. Yeah. So I just went out with a hoe and killed and it. And then the cat does <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> They are pretty random. Yeah, ballet shoes I got, but that's for Holly. Um, so yeah, there's a dinosaur. I got a dinosaur from Matilda, which was fun because it was her birthday there and she just loved dinosaurs. So nice. I hooked her up with that. Um, Dean, yeah, that was that was Dean's question. Fair enough. Last one on the Patreon questions. Again, this is good. I gave four Patreon questions I just put up just before you arrived. Connor has said, who was your favourite member of Five Star? What's five stars? Deadman, Lorraine, Denise, Doris, or Delroy. I don't know. Five stars? Is a band? I've never heard of five star in my life. Five star. Is that that? I thought that was that band that said, Every time I rise, me. Oh, I'm looking at the Nye. Oh, that's Lone Star. They were a British pop group formed in 1983. Oh, wow. And, and they're they, a family? Nice. Five star British pop group. The Steadman family. Denise. Denise has to be because she's the only one that has her own actual. Mm. Wikipedia page. I'll say Lorraine was my favourite. I'm just going off looks. I'm not going off. You can't pay else. for stormy weather. Is that what they That think? won't stop Lorraine. Is that no? All right. Yeah. That's just you. Yeah, I was, um, James Morrison sings that. Very cool. Um, but yeah, that's 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 it then. It's an exciting time. What time? How long do you have to get to the dentist? Uh, I have to leave in the next 10 minutes. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's good because we'll wrap it up. Is there anything you want to say? Anything you want to promote? Anything you want to put out there and where can people follow you what are you up to Aaron Butler online as always I'm all I'm gigging all over the show at the minute I'm in Derry soon I'm in Belfast soon I uh-huh. might be announcing I'm working on maybe getting a banger show so I've heard some rumours in the pipeline about that yeah, yeah so Bangorians if you see me sell tickets for a banger show do come along mm-hmm. I've been to I've done enough gigs up there support wise that can I come and just eat pizza and hang I, out I would love nothing more nice. than you to do that um, I don't want to do a spot though Nope. It's okay, can I just hang out? Absolutely, just Thank hang you. out. Thank you, cheers. I, 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 it's all good. Um, so that might be happening. Uh, it is, when are you thinking? I don't know, I have to organise a date for it. But uh, November, sometime November, I think. Nice. Soon. Um, but what, all I want to say is I'm very thankful that we get to do this and live the lives that we live and Mate, get on stage. Shut up, laugh. that's so bad. What are you doing? I know, I know. Come I'm on. just a very gratitude guy. I'm the gratitude guy. Do you journal, mate, do you? Have you started doing anything like that? Have gratitude, nah, you practice that? Nah, but I just... In Cold the, river plunges? Never. Won't ever do that. You ever That's do a Pearl River plunge? Old Ahmed Johnson's finisher? No, I never no. took that either. Um, yeah, so I'm just very thankful for life. There you go. There you go. And you know what? Um, when are you back in McGarbury? 
I've do a Zonday release. So just for the dentist. So straight yeah. yeah, out to the dentist, and then I'm back in to get the old fucking drugs from the. I'm back in the CSU ward, mate. Car support. Oh, no. <laughs> and, and what is it? Car is it CSU? The car, car support unit. Is yes, it, it yeah. is. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in there, mate, for a bit of crack, you know. That's what they do. Oh, I thought that was some sort of like jihadi thing you were doing there. Whoa. That's what it sounded like. Do you ever listen to the when he's in the seat and he's just like, yeah. blah, 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 blah. that's what it was. That was very jihadi. Listen, it's been a pleasure to have you as usual. Jihad to be there. Um, it's been good to be here as mm-hmm. usual. Good to be bumped up. Fuck who, who yeah. see whoever comes on next week. I'm yeah. glad I bumped them. Well, well, you'll see who comes on next week oh, and you'll no. be like, oh no, I regret that. Oh no, Massively. Julian Simmons. Julian Simmons. <laughs> yeah, the right. Much love. See you later. I'm the slack guy.